Now, last but not least, we have our Mocha Java Blend. Now, this is my personal favorite that we offer here at Coast Roast. Now, we'll eat it from up here. Now, this is a really nice blend with the Ethiopian beans and our Indonesian beans. Um, this is such a strong tasting um, coffee. I mean, it really carries so much flavor and it's really, it's really similar to the tamales in terms of being right in the middle between a, a really light and dark roast. It's super, super flavorful and Mocha Java is one of the oldest and most complex coffees um, in the world. And we definitely live up to that here at Coast Roast. And let me give you a brief history because a lot of people actually get Mocha Java confused and they assume that, oh, Mocha Java means that it's going to have chocolate or gonna taste heavily like chocolate. And that's because places like Starbucks or um, Pete's or any like restaurant, they usually do a, a cafe mocha drink, in which case that's usually hot coffee mixed with chocolate. And that's where you get that. But it actually, mocha and Java are two separate islands and have nothing to do with chocolate uh, in terms of the coffee. So let me pull up my keynotes for a uh so the lively intensity and pleasant wildness of the Yemen mocha provides a wonderful complement to the clean and bright smoothness of the Java coffee, which is one of the most popular Indonesian coffees. Now our coffee for mocha is not sourced from Yemen, but this is referring to the history and the much older um, sources of coffee for mocha. Uh, in the olden days, coffee beans from Yemen, where coffee was grown, has been grown since the 15th century, were shipped in wooden holes of sailing ships of sailors at the great Yemen port of Mocha. This port was one of the world's busiest locations at the time because it, sorry, because it was the primary seaport for the sea route to Mecca. Now, many of these sailors arriving at the port of Mocha were actually coming from the Java Island, and so this is how the traditional blend of Mocha and Java came together. A happy little accident that produced this coffee blend that is still prized today as some of the best tasting coffee in the world. Now, finally, we will do our last taste test. Mm. Wow, sorry about my noises there, but this is definitely the most flavorful coffee I think that we offer in my opinion. Um, I, I think it, it holds so much boldness, but not the acidity that usually comes with really dark or uh, stronger coffees like our French roast or espresso. This has that bold flavor, not having that acidity that leaves that feeling in your mouth once you finish, it has a really, really nice aftertaste that doesn't linger horribly like some coffees do that you know gives you a, a bad taste for a while. In fact, none of our coffees do. This one in particular leaves the least amount of tannin, I guess you could say, in your mouth of acidity. Um, and this is really, let me give one more. Mm. It's velvety. It's really smooth. It has a lot of body. And I think overall, if you're gonna go with any coffee that we offer, I think this one provides the best flavor, the best overall um, strength and boldness, in my opinion, although you are open to try any of our Coast Roast uh, coffee beans, which we sell at our website, www.coastroast.com. And Yes, so thank you all for watching this video. I know it's been a long one and I've made a lot of slurping sounds and a lot of weird grunts and noises and words that come from my mouth, but um, hey, it's coffee. What do you mean to do? This is great stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching and we will be uploading videos every week. So thank you.